2020 Freightliner Cascadia day cab, 490 on the miles, 491 on the miles. Duh, it's, like a, it's a day cab. It's got the DD13, DT12 automatic, and this truck right here is a prime example of no matter what you do, issues can just happen. I picked this truck up personally. I went out and inspected it. Uh, it passed inspection. Uh, you know, had no codes, no lights, no leaks. I took the computer because, well, of course I didn't pick it up a truck. Took the computer, hooked up to it first thing because I really didn't want to get it. <laughs> um, put the computer to it, no codes, no faults. And I'm sitting there looking at this thing and I got it, you know, we get our trucks from the fleets. They're all fleet owned. Um, and I was looking at the engine and I'm like, this is too clean. There's something going on here. I don't like it. I, typically fleets don't wash their trucks, right? Uh, typically fleets don't aluminum bright their tanks. Aluminum bright this, this uh, God, it's Friday, I'm sorry. Most of the time, fleets don't alumin, aluminum bright their tanks, clean up their steps. We do that uh, in house, right? We have a detailer come out, wash them, detail the wheels. And so I'm looking at the wheels, I'm looking at the tank, and I'm like, it's too clean. Uh, you do have super singles on this. I checked the thread and there is actually, it is long enough to where you can put uh, duels if you want. I guess if you're gonna run super singles, a day cab isn't the worst thing to run them on. Uh, sliding fifth wheel, frame super clean. Got a little dusty of me driving it yesterday. There's the lights are going. I've never seen those lights before. It's pretty interesting. Everything was checking out on this truck. You know, I got underneath, check the drive shaft. You got to do it, make sure there's no play in it. I'm not trying to get a piece of junk. I'm also trying not to be left on the side of the road for hours. So, uh, do all the tests and the truck's great. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, this thing is too clean for a fleet that's trying to get rid of it. I get about, I don't know, 100 miles or so away and I start having issues with it. Nothing crazy. The fleet has an office here in uh, in Jacksonville and they're gonna take care of it. They're actually, I'm actually taking it there this morning, which is nice. Um, I wonder if that opens. It does. I wonder what's in it. What are your secrets? Um, yeah, the fleet's gonna take care of it for us. That's why we deal with fleets. Nothing from auction, stuff happens. I was able to drive it. It just, it has an after treatment issue. I stopped, regened it, all that good stuff. None of that was working. Ugh. So now I'm taking it to their office uh, this morning. But see, here's what I'm talking about. This right here, this was too clean. This is too clean for a truck that they're trying to get rid of. It scared me, look at that, look at up there. It's a really clean truck and that scared me. Typically, we clean them. Typically, this is covered on dust. This is a pain in the ass to get clean. No damage on the bumper, no damage on the hood. It's one thing to go to a dealership, right? You know, when you come to us, you're expecting a clean truck. When I go to the fleets, I'm expecting the inside to be pretty clean, but the outside to have some dirt and grime on it. And uh, this didn't, which kind of scared me a little bit. It drove good, other than uh, being at 55 for the last two hours of my drive. The paint. It's chipping up there. I might paint that black. It'd be nothing to just uh, fucking cover everything up and sand it and paint it black. Look how clean all this is. Even down to the sidewall. 
And this right here, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but the drips, someone aluminum brighted that. And stuff like that just scared me. But it, it passed all of our checks. Look, this looks almost new. And it has no leaks. Everything open and closes, closed like I'd expect, you know, nothing crazy. Yeah. It is missing these. Uh, you can't get them right now, apparently. You know, AC works. It's a nice driving truck, and obviously, uh, obviously, when uh, you come to see the truck, this issue will be uh, be dealt with. So, you know, I'm not trying to scare you guys off the truck or anything. Uh, you know, that works. That works. Wipers. Wash. Radio works. It's a nice truck. It's 491 on the miles and. 9,921 hours but yeah it's just this this shit right here it's always fucking up man um yeah interior is in good shape a little bit of like shit right there but yeah I'm just I'm just making this video we don't we don't lie we don't misrepresent misrepresent our inventory and I just kind of want to make this video. Typically, I want it. It might be deleted later. But, um, shit happens, you know? I had the computer with me. When I picked up, there were no codes, no lights, no leaks. You guys saw that. And shit still happens, man. Ugh, that is this industry. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to wait until they fix it. Today's Friday, so it'll probably be fixed Monday or Tuesday. Um, on my way back from picking it up, I'm going to do the test drive video. And, yeah. Now, I think it's just... I If I remember correctly, my computer said it was a knock sensor. Um, who knows how accurate that is. But yes, thanks for watching. Um, you know, when I first picked it up, I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> this is going to be nice and easy. Just get back to the office, put the chrome caps on it, put our mud flaps on it, call it a day, take pictures, bam. But life, uh, life had other, life had other plans. Anyways, that'll be fixed. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, let us know.